So guys, I'd like to welcome you to this video now. I've been spending all morning optimizing the lead generation funnel for IG Media. It's one of the funnels I run. It's based mainly off of giving away a free audit. And I thought it'd be a really cool opportunity just to kind of discuss my mentality when going about getting new clients and really how I've managed to automate it so that I never have to do any cold calls, any cold emails. And getting clients really at this point is more about making sure that I can deliver a quality service and I can scale rather than worrying where the next retainer is going to come from. So let's hop into it. So I'm going to keep this video really kind of like raw and uncut. I'm just going to show you the actual sketch of the funnel. So what do you have is you have paid traffic. Now paid traffic is coming in from Facebook, Instagram, Instagram stories, and I'm actually about to test out some LinkedIn advertising. Now this paid traffic comes into a squeeze page. A squeeze page is where you actually collect someone's email in return for some sort of value proposition. So once again, I've written another free ebook that's specifically tailored to business owners. So they put in their email and they receive the free ebooks. Now, as I said, let me actually go ahead. Let me go ahead and show you guys what the squeeze page looks like. Now, uh, the ebook is how your business is wasting 50% of its marketing budget. They fill out this form right here, they get their free copy, add a bit of scarcity, only 150 more free copies. And then usually there's a timer, it's actually just run out. There's a timer for 90 seconds, once again, to add some scarcity. Now, once they've gone through the squeeze page, they actually receive their free ebook, and this is an automated email. So they read the ebook. Now the ebook actually builds some rapport. It puts me in a position of authority. Like your free ebook will really dictate how many conversions you get and how far along you can bring people through this funnel because it's their first point of reference, their first point of contact with yourself or your business or your company. So this seven to eight page free ebook that I've given them, it, it's amazing. I'm very, very happy with how it came out. Now exactly a day after they get their free ebook, they get their first email. And once again, all of this is automated. So they get email one. Now the point of email one is to build rapport 24 hours after email one and 48 hours after they get the free ebook they actually get the second email, which is to qualify potential customers as well as it has a call to action. So as I said, with email one, I'm really trying to build rapport. I'm already in a position of authority because of the ebook. So email one, as I said, is it's building rapport. I make it very clear what my intentions are. In the email, I even say, my company is trying to give you guys a better product for free than what other companies are charging you for. And I even write that my goal is to make you feel so indebted to me because of the amount of value that I've given you for free. Do you almost feel obligated to work with IG media moving forward. Now look, at this point, you have someone hooked, but not every potential customer qualifies. Not everyone can afford my retainers and my service charges. So that's the point of email two. In email two, I actually talk about my experience interning at one of London's top digital marketing agencies and how I went there to kind of get an education as to what a top agency looks like. But I left feeling disheartened because I realized that clients were paying for 15 grand a month offices and an expensive Nespresso machine and all of this overhead that this marketing agency was bringing upon themselves, which was reflected by these ridiculous retainers, especially considering I saw the work they produced and it wasn't pretty. So in email two, where I'm qualifying, I'm saying, look, I'm never trying to play the cheapest guy in the room game. IG media is still a premium service. So once again, that alone will disgruntle the people who are looking for a cheap option. It qualifies the ones who know that if you're looking for a good service, you're gonna have to pay a premium. But then I create a them versus me situation by saying what you're not going to pay for is an expensive Nespresso machine or an expensive office or all this overhead that I'm going to bring on because my company works off of speed, efficiency. So right after that, I have my call to action and the call to action is to go to my free audit. Now I actually charge companies 300 pounds for this, but because I'm taking them through this funnel, I'm actually offering it to them for free. So as you can see right here, the call to action goes to the audit opt-in. Now the audit, the audit opt-in is super, super simple. Uh, it's just a little landing page on my company website. It's got a short little video. They fill out a couple forms. Now they've opted into their audit. I've received information about their business. Now it's time for me to actually audit them. Now look guys, I'm busy. I don't have all the time in the world. And in all fairness, I'm doing this for free. So another part of prospecting and qualifying is when they fill out their social media links, when they fill out their company name. I do some research and I look into their company records, how much money they're making, how many employees they have. If I can tell that they're gonna be a very profitable client, then I'll actually do a video audit. Now I'll audit their entire digital marketing strategy and then I'll deliver it over a video. And this probably takes me, this whole process probably takes me around an hour and a half. Then a tier below that is if I can tell that they could be a good potential customer, but I'm on the edge about it, then I'll actually do an audio audit where once again, I'll audit it, but then I'll deliver it in an audio form. And that only takes me around 45 minutes. Lastly, if I can tell like, 
look, these guys, they won't be able to afford my services or it's just not a company that I want to work with. At the end of the day, I know who my ideal client is and I don't want to work with everyone. So if I can tell that's the case, then a tier below that is I actually get one of the members of my team to fill out the audit and then write it up. So at that point, I have no involvement with it and it just, it saves me a lot of time. Once I've audited them and I've sent them their audit, the only goal here is conversions. Now another interesting point is I'm willing to pay a hundred pounds per audit signup. So for them to pay for this traffic, to get them through this squeeze page, to get them through the free ebook, the emails, and eventually get them to opt into my audit, I'm willing to spend up to 100 pounds. The reason that is, is because I know a client is worth on average 2,000 pounds to me in the first month alone. So look, usually when I get on camera or audio, and I actually audit people, they're blown away because as I said, my goal is to provide a better item for free than other companies are charging for. And usually once I've audited them, they're hooked and they're ready to go. But even still, say out of 10 audits that I send, I only get one converting client. I've paid a thousand pounds on the cost of acquisition to actually get them. But in their first month alone, I'm making 2000 pound profit from them on average. That is, and that's just on the front end, their first encounter. Then there's all the months after that and all the upselling I do for them. So I hope you guys start to see how I think when I go about acquiring new clients. Now, when I see you guys cold calling and cold emailing, I understand where it's coming from. When I first started, I did that myself. I would send out DMs to countless companies, stuff like that. And to me, that's a concept called force. You're just pushing through, you're hustling, you're, you're grinding. But then at a certain point, you wanna move into power. And power is spending a lot of time building systems like this, but they completely automate things for you. And as I said, this is really why I shake my head when I see so many people cold calling and cold emailing, and it's just getting them nowhere. You need to build systems, especially if you wanna scale effectively, especially if you don't wanna work every minute of the day. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I like having a cool lifestyle. I like traveling. I like spending time with friends. And all of that is enabled because I think systems, I think long term. I constantly think about scale. So hopefully that leaves you with something to think about now. I actually shared this exact funnel with a coaching client yesterday and his mind was just blown. Now I've only offered my coaching services for around like a week and a half now. And before it was simply because when I'm doing company consultations and training, I'm charging 275 an hour. It's a minimum of five hours and usually they go for 10 to 20 hours for me to actually come in and coach either their marketing team or their sales team or if they're the CEO or founder them directly so by doing all these coaching calls I'm kind of leaving a lot of money on the table but honestly after the first one seeing like the spark in someone's eyes when they realize how much something like this can change their life and their family's life it kind of brought me back to my journey over this last year where I've started to take all this stuff really really seriously and how much I've been able to improve my life and the lives of everyone around me and it just it clicked to me that I need to continue with all this coaching. I need to continue bringing students on because look, if it can change my life, and I say this a lot on here and I don't think you guys believe me, I really do have a tough time grasping onto concepts. I'm not naturally very clever. I've just sought out really good mentors, coaches. I spent countless on courses and books and humbled myself by being a student for so long. So if I can do it, trust me, you guys are probably four times as smart as I am. So if you would like me to help you, there's a link below and it actually takes you to my scheduler so you can see my available times. You can book a time with me. You fill out a form which gives me context going into the call as to how I can serve you best. And finally, there's payment processing on it. So really it's a one-stop shop. If you wanna get on a coaching call as quick as you can with me. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of this like really impromptu raw sort of style. Usually I think a lot more about videos before I actually turn on the camera, but as I said, I thought it'd be cool to show you guys this little insight. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I'll see you guys next time.